This video is going to talk you how, through how to make your interactive online timeline, like this example, for your um, history of comics. So, uh, you've got some research links down here, and then obviously, if you want to get those distinction marks, you also need to be doing your own research and finding your own sources as well. Um, and then here, you've got some guides of how to make this type of timeline. So the first thing you need to do is click on that link. There are some instructions on this page, um, what to do, how to do it, but this video will take you through step by step. So the first thing you need to do is scroll down and download this Google spreadsheet template. Now you need to have a Google Drive account in order to use this. So if you haven't already got one of those, you need to speak to your teacher. Um, if you've already got one, either log in now or click on this and then log in afterwards. So if you're already logged in, as I am, it will take you to this template. Okay. Now the first thing you need to do is click here and click Use Template. Um, and then you need to change the title of this. So I would just change it to Comic Book History Timeline and click OK. Now remember when you're in Google Drive, um, it saves everything for you as you go along so you don't have to worry about anything. First thing I need to tell you is please do not change any of the column titles or anything like that. Just leave those as they are. If you change those, the final product won't work. So essentially this is a spreadsheet. You need to have something in every single box. So here, for example, you have the start date, end date, the headline. So the headline is um, this. Um, you have uh, the text, and the text is this bit here. Uh, you have your media, uh, which is your image or your video or a web page, you can put any kind of link in there. Um, a media credit, so you need to cite where you got your source from, I'll show you how to do that in a second. A caption, which is this little thing down here. Um, and then finally, um, media thumbnail, you can leave that blank, it's already blank, that's fine. And type, you can leave that as it is as well, same with tag, so don't change anything there. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back to my frog page and I'm going to go to my resources. So I've got this one here. And I've also got this one. And finally that one. So I'm going to have all those open so I can switch between them and get my different sources as and where I like. So the first thing I want to establish is what's the first thing that happened. So in this paragraph here it tells me about pulps. They were 10 cent books sold on newsstands, usually filled with action heroes, going to those places and having adventures. So then I'm going to go to my other resource and I'm going to see if there's anything on here about pulps. So I'm just going to skim and scan this text here. Nothing about pulps. Nothing about pulps. Go way back to ancient Greek time. You could put that in if you wanted to. Um, we've got the first real comic strip. Still nothing about pulps. Oh, here we go. Okay. So pulp magazines printed on cheapest possible paper for inexpensive mass distribution. So I know that there's something about pulp magazines. Now I want to find out what year did these sort of start. So I'm going to open a new tab and I'm just going to search pulp magazines. Here we go. Just ignore that. Um, 1896 it states there. However, um, there is another resource which I can't find right now but I did find it when I, here we go, 1890s. Okay, so I'm going to use that as my start date. So I'm going to go back to my uh, template and in here I'm going to put 1890 and in here I'm going to put 1890. And here I can put pulp magazines, some text. So now I need to go back to here and I want to explain what they are. So they are small comics, small um, books costing 10 cents sold on a news stand oops, in America. They were made with the cheapest possible materials 
so that they could be sold on a mass scale for cheap. I'm also going to talk about the fact that they included sort of early superheroes. So they included stories about action heroes and their adventures. These were very early superheroes. Superheroes have become synonymous with comic books. Now synonymous is just a word to say that sort of superheroes have become completely identified with comic books. Um, so that's done. Right now I need I want to find an image to go in here. So I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to go to images. I've already got pulp magazines there. Um, and I'm just going to pick one. Uh, there's a whole selection there. That's quite good. So I've clicked on it. I'm now going to go to view image and I'm just going to copy that link. I'm going to go back to my template and I'm going to paste that link in there. Now I want to go to my credit. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to look on the page where I found these and I'm going to look for a credit. So sometimes the credits can be up here in the masthead, sometimes they can be right down the bottom here and there we go. I'm going to copy that and paste that in there. And now a caption. So examples of early pulp magazines. Boom. Done. First one done. Right, so now I need to go back to this and find out what happened next. So we've got some information here about 1929, but that's quite a leap from the 1890s. So I'm going to go to this other one and go back to that paragraph where I found about the very first comic strip. And here we go. And that was in 1895, very first comic strip. So I'm going to go here, 1895, 1895, and um, what was it called? The, the Yellow Kid. So I could say the first real comic strip, The Yellow Kid. And I could put that in italics because it's the title of something. Uh, no, I don't want to put it all in italics. Okay, so then again, I've got some text I can write there, so I can go back here and find out a little bit about it. It was about by this guy, Richard Felton Outcult. So, uh, created by Richard Felton Outcult. The Yellow Kid was published in... Let's find out where it was published. Um, the New York World. So let's find out what the New York world was. Uh, it was a newspaper. Okay, so it was published in uh, the New York world, an American newspaper. Right, so we go back here. What else can we find out about it? Um, Yellow Kid was notable in that it was the first comic strip to use balloons as a place for the character's dialogue, so that's good. The Yellow Kid was the first comic strip to use balloons for the character dialogue. This has become oops, a code and convention of comic strips because you always see speech balloons now in comic strips. So what else can we find out? Um, oh, this is good. When publishers realise that comic strips such as this one, um, they could be used to broaden appeal. So um, let's go back to this and say uh, publishers started making comic strips a standard part of their newspapers and they realised that they could broaden their audience. Lovely. Right, again we need to find a picture now, so 
Um, let's go the yellow kid, 19, uh, 1896. Images. There we go. So obviously you don't have to use the first one, there's loads of choice there, but again I'm going to go view image. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste that into there. Find my media credit. No, not on that page. Right, let's go to the home page of this website and find the credit. Uh, for purposes, you may reproduce materials from this site without further permission on the condition that you provide the following attribution to all sources. So I'm going to copy and paste that because that is the site copy. Paste. Okay, and then the um, early comic strip. The yellow kid. Right, okay, so let's just imagine I've carried on, I've gone all the way down. As you can see, you can add more rows if you want. So if I want to add another 20 rows, I can do, and then you can just copy and paste the format in. Okay, let's imagine I've done them all now. Okay, this is the next step. You're going to go File and you're going to go to Publish to the Web. Um, and then click this little button here, Publish. Yes, I'm sure I want to publish this. Now you need to copy and paste this URL. Okay, so it's already highlighted for you, so just copy it. Now I'm going to go back to this website, which is where I found my template from, and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to paste that in there. And then I'm going to click preview and I can have a quick look at it. Yep, fantastic, exactly as I wanted it to be. Okay, so the next thing you need to do. is oops, email this, so you've got to copy this and email this link to your teacher. That is how they're going to be able to access this and then your teacher will be able to embed your timeline onto a frog page just like I have on mine. So then your teacher can make a frog page for everybody and it'll have everybody's timeline on and you can comment on each other's and uh, have some grading on there as well.